What's up, guys? This is Star Blue, a gamer who loves those like games, looter games, and every game that involves build making. If you feel Act One is too hard for you, check out this build video. Argento and Cassia will be your salvation. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Now let's dive right into it. In this build, you will have two major characters. Argento will have strong damage over single Lily targets, while Cassia handles crowds of mobs. Their builds are compatible with each other, so they can exploit their best in the same battle. Let's first talk about Argenta's build. I believe you know how broken she will be once she becomes an Arc Militant. However, before that, Argenta has two critical weaknesses. One is low hit rate, and the other is lack of damage. Now let's deal with the first weakness. Go to the navigator station once you enter Act 1 and grab the laser sniper rifle. This weapon and its second attack provide bonus hit rate. So this can ensure Argenta's initial hit rate. Afterwards, grab the talent that allows you to activate Reveal in Slaughter after only 2 kills. Then you will be able to stack ballistic skill by killing some mobs. In this way, even if you switch back to your bot gun, Argenta still has high hit rate. Of course, you won't have many kills with only Argenta's own turns, so support her with officers to give her extra turns. Ideally, you should have two officers besides Cassia, but only one extra officer, well, can work as well. Grab Seize the Initiative for all officers and give every extra turn to Argenta. Anyway, Laser Sniper Rifle for initial hit rate, extra turns along with Revealing Slaughter to stack ballistic skill. This will be able to solve the first weakness of Argenta. Now what about the second one? You know, ranged attacks are harder to get damage bonus compared with melee ones. And this is why Camaraderie is a broken talent. It gives Argenta huge damage bonus, and you only need to place 4 teammates around her. All in all, to fully utilize Argenta's potential, you need Argenta, 3 officers, the laser sniper rifle, and 2 key talents. Next, let's come to Cassia, which shall be a quite classic build. You need 2 cores for this build. One is Mastery of Time, a talent, and the other is Reveal the Light, an ability. Both of them help you stack huge willpower on Cassia. Mastery of Time gives Cassia 5 willpower per extra turn. You can get a navy in your team and grab the origin talent that gives every team member an extra turn. In this way, Cassia will get 30 willpower with only one ability activation. I believe your trustworthy Abelard can serve this purpose. Then just let Cassia cast Reveal the Light on herself, so that she gets even more willpower. With high willpower, her basic attack move can deal incredible damage, and this is even an AoE attack. So this build only requires one talent and one ability. Of course, you can go on and grab a few classic talents of Cassia, for power, replacing agility, replacing toughness, and so on. All in all, you only need Cassia and a navy for your team composition to make this build work. Now, if you put the two builds in this video together, you will find that they are compatible. Argenta, Cassia, two additional officers, and one navy. Well, the navy can be one of the two additional officers or Abelard. I have to admit, with these two builds, I have had an experience totally different from my first playthrough. If you like my story or want to join me into depth of games, so remember to like and subscribe. Done. Thanks for watching, Actions see you around.